How's it going everyone? We're back again, taking inspiration from my Street Fighter 6 newcomer to talk about a specific archetype of fighting game characters. And today's topic is Drunk Fighters. The man of the hour is of course Jamie, the very first new Street Fighter 6 character to be revealed and one that some of you even had a chance to test already in the betas. But before we dive into our list, let me clarify that I will only be talking about characters that actually consume some kind of drink during the match to power up or perform unique attacks. Therefore, I won't be including characters that merely have access to a drunken fist style, even if they are seen drinking before the match. I know this probably excludes a few fan favors, but hey, there's always a chance to return to this topic in the future. Oh, and one final warning. There's a bunch of complicated names in this list, which means I'll probably pronounce most, if not all of them wrong. Sorry in advance. Anyways, like always, let's start with the character that inspired this whole thing in the first place. Set to debut in Street Fighter VI, Jamie Shu was created in response to the lack of Drunken Fist users in the series. He's a fun-loving young man who sees himself as the protector of his hometown and follows the example set by his cousins, Yoon and Yang. Technically, Jamie doesn't actually drink alcohol, the drink in his jug being called Yakyu, which is more like a medicinal tea. The facts are still pretty much the same as good old booze, so he more than fits the bill. Jamie practices Zhu Quan, a Chinese drunken fist technique that weaponizes the practitioner's erratic movements into an unpredictable style. He also fuses this with breakdancing, using grounded spin kicks and handstands. Many of his moves are inspired by Yun and Yang, such as the arrow kick and free flow strikes, so he shares a similar playstyle with the twins, alternating between safe pressure and close range aggression. Jamie has a unique drinking mechanic using a move called The Devil Inside, granting him new special moves and options the more he drinks. He has a maximum of 4 drink levels, after which he'll replenish one drive bar from further drinking. Some attacks also raise his drunk level on hit, though Jamie has to complete the animation in order to do so. When fully leveled up, his shirt becomes undone, his hair gets unraveled and his stance changes. However, at his base level, Jamie is considerably weaker, so choosing between pressing the advantage and safely drinking is vital and must be managed alongside drive gauge and super gauge. The jury is still out on how powerful will Jamie be in the final release, but if he's anything like his cousins, everyone else might be in trouble. Moving on, it's time to switch gears from discussing the youngest character on this list to someone who may be one of the oldest, Jin Gensai from the King of Fighters. As a founding member of the Psycho Soldier team, Jin debuted in the King of Fighters 94 and has made an appearance in nearly every subsequent game in the series. He's an old friend of Tung Fu Ru and serves as mentor to Athena Asamiya, Shi Ken So and Bao. Jin trains them in the art of harnessing their psychic powers to prepare for potential evil using the tournaments as a means to improve their skills. His gameplay is unique due to his size and reliance on drinking to access many of his special moves. He must continually drink and store stocks to unlock his full potential, but when he does so, Jin becomes a force to be reckoned with. He's capable of converting into damage with or without meter, has a strong anti-air game and the ability to low-profile attacks due to his size and slip stance move. He excels at space control, but can also play pressure and poking. Jin's tier list placement has been all over the place throughout his long KOF career. In some games he struggles to stay competitive, and in others, like KOF 13, he's actually a really strong character. But let's take a break from 2D games and check out a classic fighting game character from a 3D franchise that is in dire need of a sequel, Shun Di from Virtua Fighter. Shun Di made his first appearance in Virtua Fighter 2 back in 1994 and has been a mainstay of the series ever since. As pretty much everyone on this list, he's a master of drunken boxing, a style of martial arts that involves using unpredictable movements and feints to confuse opponents. While Shun Di's personality may seem eccentric at first, he's actually a wise and experienced mentor who has taken many students over the years. Despite his age, he remains an active fighter, using the tournaments as a way to test his own skills and hone his craft. In terms of gameplay, Shun Di is a character who relies on a lot of movement and evasion. He has a variety of wacky and comical special moves that involve spinning, jumping and even falling down in a drunken stupor. 
He also has a unique mechanic in the form of a drinking meter. As he sips his beverage during the match, the counter goes up and Chun-Di's face becomes redder, unlocking new moves and giving him an ever-increasing damage boost. Some of these moves also come with a free drinking animation, thus making him even stronger the more he attacks. However, opponents familiar with his shenanigans can make it difficult for Shundi to get the party started by denying him his ever so needed drinking opportunities. Despite his unorthodox fighting style, Shundi has proven to be a formidable opponent in the world of World of Fighter. He may not be the most popular character among casual players due to his humongous command list, drink dependence and multiple stances, but those who take the time to master his techniques can unlock a ton of potential. And now let's shift our attention to another iconic 90s fighting game franchise as we introduce Bo Raichou from Mortal Kombat. Bo Raichou first appeared in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and has since made appearances in several other games in the series. He's a master of the martial art known as, you guessed it, Drunken Fist, and his fighting style is heavily influenced by his love for alcohol. Known for his jovial and carefree personality, many of Bo Raichou's attacks are quite infamous and land somewhere between comical and gross, like leaving a fart cloud on the arena, vomiting on his opponent, or even lighting his farts on fire. But don't let that fool you, he's a fierce fighter who should not be underestimated. Bo Raichou is a mentor to some of the series' most notable characters, including Liu Kang and Kung Lao and also a member of the White Lotus Society, an organization dedicated to protecting Earthrealm from evil forces. While the influences of his fighting style can be seen in all of his appearances, in Mortal Kombat X, or Raichou's most recent game, it's the Drunken Master variation that truly solidifies his place in this list. Here, Boraicho gets access to Drink, a special move that, as you imagine, makes him take a sip of his, let's say, refreshment. While you're drunk, he gains many new attacks and some of the existing ones become even more powerful. However, he needs to keep drinking constantly, otherwise after a while he'll puke, leaving himself open to attacks. So while Boraicho's abilities in this variation are formidable, the reliance on alcohol can make him a pretty difficult character to use. However, in his original game, Deadly Alliance, this drunken warrior was probably one of the strongest characters in the game. Alright, it's time to land this plane, so let's finish the list with a character that, surprise surprise, is not a master of drunken boxing, Hua Jai from Fear of Fury and the King of Fighters. First appearing in the original Fear of Fury, Hua Jai was originally a boss character who could only be selected in the Super Nintendo version of the game, since he was absent from the Genesis port, and even then with barely any moves, only on the versus mode, and exclusively by the second player. It wasn't until his surprising return in The King of Fighters 13 that the character would be normalized, featuring a complete moveset and becoming playable from the start. He's a Muay Thai fighter who longs to be the best in the world, but was defeated by Joe Higashi, who then became his sworn enemy. With his career taking a tumble, Hua Jai found himself working as a hired fighter for the crime lord Giz Howard. However, he eventually turned his life around, cutting ties with Giz and even sparking a friendship with Joe. In the KOF timeline, he was approached by King Cup One to join his team in the next King of Fighters tournament alongside fellow Fatal Fury character, Raiden. During his fights, Hua Jai makes use of a power drink, which is a mixture of medicinal herbs that grants him above average strength, stamina and speed, but seems to diminish his reflexes. So not exactly alcohol. Wink wink. In the first Fatal Fury game, he could only perform his special moves after consuming the drink, which he would automatically do after taking a significant amount of damage. In KOF 13, Hua Jai is an extremely offensive-oriented character that excels at cracking defenses and landing hits against defensive characters. Though he shares an almost identical set of normals with Joe Higashi, Hua Jai's specials allow him to play much differently. He builds meter very fast, has a 2 for pretty much every situation, and can easily confirm out of any random hit into a full combo that deals an enormous amount of damage. However, to hold such power, he must be kept drunk, as it increases his damage output and changes the properties of some of his best moves. Hua Jai does that by using his Drink Pink DM, which lasts 15 seconds and so must probably be repeated a few times during a single round. If he's sober and without any meter, Hua Jai is but a shadow of himself, so players must really keep a close eye at the timer if they want to succeed with this fighter. 
If you do that though, you reap the rewards. Huajai is one of the best characters in the game and can probably find a place in any team looking for a strong fighter. And well, with that we end our list for today guys. Do you know of any other fighting game characters that powered up with drinks? Let us know in the comment section below and as usual, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you had fun remembering or possibly even learning something new. For now, this has been a Dukimi player and I'll see you guys later.